supposed to be cooler today. And it does feel really nice out here this morning compared to what it has felt like. Still warm, but it's August. But it's not like 90. It's like 9.30. I think it's like 75. And a low humidity, which is great. But we're only going to get like a week of this and it's hot again for September, which is full nuts. Good morning. As my mom is like... Yes, we slept in this morning, didn't we? Oh, we're a little extra. Yeah, you are. A little, a little extra. Poppy! Poppy! I don't know what she's looking at. What are you doing? Huh? Yeah? We have a little bit of a different routine this morning because Grandma put you a shade up. Yeah, she did. She put you a shade up, so... A little bit of a different routine today. Yes, sir. Are you just starved to death? Yeah, probably not. Huh? Probably not. Yeah. You are so chatty. Okay, let's have breakfast. up for them this week because it was so so hot but feeders are on the other side of it so I'm walking around because I walked under it the first couple of days and it was very dewy and I got soaked now there's like no dew this morning I probably would be fine but so she put this little shade up we're gonna do we're gonna do this number aren't we we are Those two feeders are plenty enough for them to spread out. We will have somebody come back in the barn. For sure. Looking for something to eat. More Mr. Bear. It's gonna be cooler. Gonna be cooler. Put mom to open the door for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well you can go in. So I've had to keep cat food in the barn. Oh, not in the barn, in the garage because we have a tomcat hanging out, stealing everyone's food. All right, good morning, good morning pork chop. I know, look at all the dust you're stirring up. Look at all the dust you're stirring up. There's almost too much grass. Mom's gotta walk around. You've parted your bowls or off. They've really been living their best life. So it was pretty much 100 degrees every single day this week since like last Sunday or Saturday or Sunday. And it's hot today, but it's less humid and the high's supposed to be like 84 instead of 95. So let's we'll this way. Come on. Never wants anybody to look at her while she's eating. It's very private that way. The only problem with all this is that the girls that are in the milk room are in there too long. And then there are shenanigans that they get up to. Zell, what are you doing? Mom mowed all the walking paths yesterday. She did. Okay. 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 
Still got them over here. It's been so hot, they have not really been there that often, and not enough to make a dent in the grass. Still letting them on that probably for another couple of weeks. The grass is over the goats and the pig's head out there. They're all running because they think I have more food. <laughs> like I do this every single morning. They never do this, never. So you guys are getting some fun. She's like, oh, she's just going down to open the gate. They have still been out here, mostly because shade, and there's still a ton of grass. I mean, it's gonna be really hot and we keep getting rain. We may have grass growth into October, which means, well, again, we'll have a shorter hay season, which is good for everybody. Just because this grass is way more nutritious than most of the hay that we could feed them. It's really tough to get like alfalfa, which is what most people feed their dairy breeds. It's just not easy to get around here. We feed them really good horse hay, which they like. It's plenty nutritious, but fresh grass is always gonna be here, or fresh forage, best bet. So hopefully what they're doing today is gonna take this trailer to the brother that it belongs to. Get us a little more space. The doggo's locked in there, probably real fiddle. because she's been headbutting and attacking them as they come out of the door. And so what I don't want is this. So I'm not giving them cookies this morning because I don't like, it's like the exact opposite of what I'm going for is to have her stand here and then be afraid to leave because she's gonna headbutt them. Or because he's gonna headbutt them or anyone. He is very sweet and will just stand here and he eats his cookie and he goes on about his day. Yes. Mom doesn't didn't give me anything. Good you're mean. You're mean giraffe. You are. You're not nice to your friends. You are not. You're a grouchy goat. So it's just like been the week of misbehavior on the farm. Really. I've had this tomcat that has shown up. I have seen him a couple of times on the camera, but not like I had not seen him in person until like a week or two ago. And he's finally like comfortable enough that he's out when I'm out and he's yelling at me, hoping that I'm gonna feed him. And he is keeping shrubs specifically from eating and she's kind of afraid of him. And so I put out to the neighborhood, I was like, is this someone's cat? Like, is this like a barn cat that's just walking? Our girls are fixed, like they're spayed. So there's no like, they don't have any hormones for him to be smelling to be like out here because they're girls. So don't really, my guess is he's showing up because there's food to eat. And somebody said he kind of makes the rounds. They enjoy seeing him, but he needs to be neutered because I don't want a bunch of stray cats. And tomcats have the tendency to like show up with their girlfriend. The couple of kittens that we had that were males that we were like waiting until they were big enough to neuter brought us more cats usually. Not super interested. We have never seen feral stray cats around here because bobcat fever is so bad. It just doesn't usually work out, but you know, it is what it is. The piggies got a new pool. They're really excited. We filled up with some water for them this morning. So we got them a new bigger pool. Mom says this one has a hole in it, which I don't doubt. It's like three seasons old because the nice one that I bought them, uh, Toonie got in her head that she needed to cart it off. So it's over there. She just dumped out half the water I just put in it. She's awesome like that. Yes, do you think you need something? Do you? Yeah, hi. It's not gonna be so hot today. Not so hot. Mom didn't have any snacks. You just had breakfast. So you can tell 
like no dent in this at all and they're not like spot specific like you don't look out here and they're always in the same place they're pretty spread out they'll eat on the edge today because i mowed yesterday and they kind of tend to like that but they are definitely funny little goobers it is nice that like this is the first time i've needed to make a feed store run since july because we don't have the babies it is like we actually ran out of pig food before we're running out of goat food which is nice because we were feeding so much food for those little babies but they've enjoyed the new pool. It's a little bit bigger. They can both fit in it, and it is a little bit deeper. I couldn't find these this summer, the green ones. So that's what they had before. So now I need to get this one and that one out. But she's like a total meanie to pork chop, and hopefully we'll be able to see it. Like, he gets in, and then she, like, kicks him out. And then, so I put water in this pool yesterday, and then she got in this pool with him. Like, she just won't let him be by himself. Just have the Krabby Patty animals this week. Don't we? Say we do. I need to go let the dog out because he's trapped here. He's mad. So he's done pretty well with the heat. He gave up on staying in the garage because the garage gets so hot even with the fan when it's like over 100. So he's mostly been under the deck. He has the option to be in either spot. I think we survived. It's going to be really hot again like today, Sunday. So this week it's going to be like this 80s, 60s all week. And then the following week it's going to be back in the mid-90s. I'm sorry, did you get trapped? I don't want to be trapped. I'm sorry. It wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. Okay, he's out of food. Pigs are out of food. But I think for the most part we did. Survived a big heat wave. Again, we're going to have another one the following week. Just different weather patterns. So this was what my mom did for them for a shade. She just took a tarp and she's done this before and just tied it to the fence. It won't last. So we'll keep it up until all the hot weather is done and then take it down because the minute it starts storming, it'll fly away on it though. But it worked pretty well, kept the water cool, a little bit cooler, gave them a place to lay down outside because it's really hot there in the barn and there's not as much like air circulation, especially down low where they are. So this was a good alternative. We have thought and thought about shade structures or lean-tos for them um, and we just never have like quite decided on something we were supposed to do something like more permanent this like run was actually supposed to be a little bit wider it was supposed to kind of come out about halfway and we were going to do a lean-to and then they would have the outside cover as well not something totally off the table then we thought about some like temporary shade structures you come out with me can you get out of that chai you and Tinkerbell, like the world's worst. No business being in it. There's nothing in it. And of the kisses, come on. That's been a thought. We've also thought about doing some kind of like poles and those stretchy shade covers that you could take up and down because they don't really need it like in the winter. It would just be summer. Look at my little friends. I don't know why they're so interested in me this morning. <laughs> I haven't been out here to hang out with them because it has been so incredibly hot so they are a little nosy do you just need to be in mom's lap because mom hasn't been out here so spent two hot buns so we realized when we got the nets was like this space out here under these trees was really all they needed they didn't really need an outdoor shade structure um you know a couple of times some in the summer but like they can sleep outside in the summer uh it's dark so like that was kind of thing. Do they need a place to sleep outdoors? It doesn't really rain when it's so hot. So it just ended up to where that lean-to has not been just super needed because we have this great built-in shade out here. And they really will stay out here. And the issue is like, I haven't been bringing water down. So they go up to drink water and then they lay down in the barn. Mm -hmm. There's three of you and mom only has two hands. She's probably the biggest snuggle bug other than Bunny. Bunny just likes attention. Twiz will kick me. This one likes to use her feet to tell me that she's dissatisfied with the amount of scratches that she's getting. Bunny and Poppy have to share, otherwise I get kicked by this one. But we don't use our feet. Oh, here comes Link. Are you coming? Hi, Bubba. Oh, Twiz said no thank you. I got, got some, some goo. Can we get your eye boogers? Oh, Tinkerbell. Are you just bigger than everybody? Are they afraid of you? You're better tweet. I don't know why. Very chunky. Poppy. 
Bob is gonna move on to. Not buns, buns stay here forever, won't ya? Mmm, girl. You are. Good tweet boy. Good tweet boy get scratches too. Yes. Your grandmother has spoiled you to no end. You're fat. You're very overweight. Everybody asked me if you're pregnant. We are not pregnant. We're just fat. We come back. Oh, you didn't go anywhere. Link, don't eat the camera, buddy. Because we, we're YouTubing. We're working. I don't know what they're doing. They're playing. This is work, right, buddy? Yeah, Mom. This is work. Has everybody just been wild this week? Y'all kind of have been. You guys have been marginally well-behaved. Daisy's been mean to people. Toonie has been just mean to pork chop. No, thank you. This bobcat has been around. I don't need my hair chewed. I will pet you, but we don't need to chew mom's hair. They're just happy. Everybody's doing really well. Um, they've just been super naughty. We're traveling quite a bit this fall. Going to Disneyland. Going to uh, South Dakota to go to Mount Rushmore and Wyoming and Rocky Mountain National Park. We're like doing a little short road trip and then going to Key West in October. So really excited about all of that, but pretty tired today because Jeremy went to a fishing trip, uh, a fishing tournament Friday night and it was like from 7 p.m. to like 1 a.m. So he didn't get home until like, he got home around one. And then we woke up at 7.30 to my parents' air being out. And so that was like all day yesterday. Thankful it's fixed and now we did sleep in until like eight this morning, but now they're working on this trailer, which is really exciting because we're gonna have this like space cleaned out where it's easier to mow and maintain, which is awesome, not so much tall grass. So I hope you guys have a really good week. We're gonna just enjoy this cool weather. 